I got started, and as usual, something cut off, and then my tripod setup decided it didn't like existing, and blah, 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 blah. Here we are. I have in front of you, very close in front of you, my new drill. I'm really bad with batteries, and so I got a cordless one. Excellent. I'm in frame. So the only thing I've done so far is lay out some basic scrap wood I had just sitting around and put in two screws. I was on film at the time, but it uh, didn't really work out. And now that the two pieces are pressurized, it actually is going to help out a lot because I can do, I hope, I'm pretty sure I can do just one mode at a time with the drill. Because I was having to switch back and forth from the drill bit over to, and it's stripping because it's cheap, it's the one that came with the screws. Um, back and forth from those two, from the drill bit to the screw head, etc, etc. Um, turns out, the drill bit gets really, really hot, which was great. Um, so, now that it's pressurized, I can just put in a bunch of screw holes. <laughs> take up half the porch to use it because you know what I've been using is a strip of old wire um, shelving propped up against one of the coolers here with this quarter by quarter inch screening um, well I guess it's fencing technically or cage component I'm not entirely sure what you'd call it um, would just looped up over it this will allow the soil to be put right in, and I'm going to leave a little bit of handles here at the end, as you can see, which will let me rock it back and forth a little bit more easily. There's a 2x6 and a 2x4, and or wait, a 6x6, a 4x4, and 2x6s on the sides with a little bit of overhang and just enough. Apparently this had some termite action at one point, but I checked the surrounding area, and that is old. So, we're fine. Let me just do a quick temperature test. Good. And, uh, this is my drill bit. The screws that, are not drill bit, ha, <laughs> it's a uh, screw head. Put it in there, that's kind of gross looking. Brand new drill in there, it's like goopy stuff in here. What was that? But like, okay, uh, yeah, 
So, I already stripped it. Sorry. <laughs> I'm using three and a half inch screws and four inch screws. I'm going to start with the three and a half inch screws just to get enough grab. I used to have a really long drill bit of this diameter, which was excellent. However, um, yeah, I snapped it, so I don't have that anymore. This new drill also does not have any torque control, which is why I've already stripped the bit. See? It just gets going, and that's... That's that. It is not in general. stripped this drill bit to the point where there's no tip on it too so that's not helping I got a bunch more I just kind of don't feel like wandering off while videoing so what we're gonna do is get the basic screws in with the stripping method that's happening here unfortunately and then I will go search out a drill bit off camera at a later moment. See how difficult that is? Buddy. Now that everything else is screwed in, I wonder if I could tip it up. I don't want to risk it. It'll probably be easier once I can hold it with the full tension, too. Ugh. stapler and my wire cutters which is what we need. Soil sifting is the reason I got the quarter by quarter. Also I had seen a tutorial on how to turn five gallon buckets into well that's fun into a worm bin and had been considering that so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here as far as that goes, but I do know that I need to get this trimmed to fit. And that it's going to take quite a while. Because each individual one needs to be trimmed. Super fun. I'm actually turn this around so that the sharper edges are left. Fine. Yeah, so I've made it about three inches. What I'm going to do then, once that point is done, is take pardon, the construction grade stapler and just there we go. There's one. Since I got that far, I think I can put in one more without disrupting my ability to There. So then there will be a bunch of staples all around the edge of this. And if I've misplaced any staples, I will get out a flathead screwdriver and yank them out. Maybe pliers. Doesn't really matter. Just yank them out, get them out of there, and try again. So it's not like 
massive commitment just to put in a staple. Uh, that's how I'm going to build this, at which point then it'll just be flip it over, fill this section, which will be fully backed with the metal grid, with dirt, and shake it so that uh, the sifted soil comes right on through. That'll be about it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and finish that up here. Hope you have a good day. Bye!